Hello everyone, this is Chris from NokiaInnovation.com. Today I'm taking a look at Windows 8.1 on the Dell XPS 10. It's an IT device. Now, why do I be taking a look at a Dell product? Uh, it's not the device we're looking at, it's the software. Because we're currently October the 19th. In a couple of days, uh, Nokia World kicks off and we are expecting to see a Windows RT tablet leaked. So we thought we'd take a look at some of the changes and as things would appear Nokia were holding out for Windows 8.1 before they were prepared to bring a tablet to the market let's see why um, some of the big change one big changes you notice if you look at the lock screen it used to be a swipe up job but you can now swipe down and bring a camera there I am uh, and go back to unlock as I'm sure you're aware uh, you can now there's a little arrow you can just see there in the bottom left of the screen if we tap down it brings up all your apps but you don't need to tap that you can just slide it up uh, another good another change when I first uh, started using the tablet I always went to the app store and I always thought well there's no obvious way of searching for apps what you were actually supposed to do was slide to the right and use search but that wasn't immediately obvious to it or everyone because Windows 8 has a universal search Okay, for some reason that doesn't want to load up. Okay, there was actually a loading problem with the store, but it seems to be working now. Even, even coming from, it actually loads up quite quickly when it is working, relatively. Uh, as I was saying, there was no obvious way of searching for apps. But you can now, you've got this box up here, you can just tap it and search whatever you want. So the App Store has improved. They've also changed the layout a little bit. One of the big things that came with 8.1 was the Facebook app. You could, of course, use the web browser, which is a full web browser with Flash and everything. So you could have just used that, but it is nice to have an app. They've now integrated the home screen, which, well, the desktop. They've now got this button down in the corner, in the bottom right. Tapping it takes you between the two. Uh, they've made personalizing the background a lot easier. Settings personalized before you had an option of these quite interesting colour schemes, uh, quite interesting pictures, which moved in the background as you can see, which look really good, but it's also it's also nice to be able to pick your own background. Now, will we see Nokia bring a Windows XP, de uh, sorry, a Windows RT device to the market? Who knows? Uh, a lot of people are looking 
Uh, there's been a lot of rumours about the about a Nokia Lumia 2520. We'll see if that transpires. Uh, let's see any other. Uh, we can see the email experience has uh, improved a little. As well as your inbox, you've now got a few other sections. I've not tried Word. Uh, but apparently that was going to be changed, but it hasn't. Still perfectly fine. I imagine that'll be updated soon. Uh, we also have uh, the new size tiles. We'll try that with eBay. Um, click on it and resize you've got medium or well, you can go very small and I believe you can do that with most of them although some only have the small and medium option And as you might have seen there, you now have the option of grouping tiles together and naming the group, for example, you could call that social. Not that looks like I can't spell. Um, okay, I'll, quick tip, anyone wanting a kickstand for their tablet, it doesn't have to be this particular tablet, it could be an iPad or an Android tablet, it is incredible what you can do with an old DVD case. Cut the plastic off, you can use that as its feet. Voila. Okay, any questions you have on uh, Windows 8.1, then don't hesitate to ask. Leave a comment in the section. And do you believe we'll be seeing a Nokia tablet on the 22nd of October at Nokia World in Abu Dhabi? Let us know in the comments. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.